For parents who have children suffering a mental health crisis, the search for help can sometimes feel like it's never going to end. All week long, CBS News has been taking a look at kids in crisis. And tonight, we have our iTeam reporter, Brian New, showing us the front lines of this problem here in North Texas. Here's his investigation. They are showing up at emergency departments all across North Texas. Kids in crisis, parents in desperation. But doctors say the type of help they need they won't find here. Well, unfortunately, we cannot treat them. It's not, it's not an acute thing that we can easily give them one dose of medication and let them go home. At Cook Children's in Fort Worth, on average, every month, 330 children come into the emergency department suffering from a mental health crisis. But doctors say where they should be is at a mental health treatment center where they can see a child psychiatrist. Across the country, there's a shortage of professionals. According to the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry, for every 100,000 kids, there needs to be 47 child psychiatrists. But in the U.S., there are only 14 per 100,000. In Texas, it's worse, just 10 per 100,000. And so as they wait for help, the emergency department at Cook Children's keeps them in safe rooms like this. Some will spend days here waiting for the help they need. And so you can see the anguish on these parents' face that they feel like that they're exhausting every resource that they have and then they end up here and we try to do the best we can, but it's not that slam dunk answer that they really want. So while training more residents in psychiatry is essential, experts say that alone is not enough. So tonight at 10, we'll take you to a school here in North Texas where they are taking what mental health professionals know and putting it into the hands of children as young as three. With the I-Team, Brian New, CBS News, Texas.